sometimes they forget that these truly are kids. Uh, and I think we all need to keep that in mind. Tonight, a 15-year-old girl is back home after spending three months in juvenile custody. The teenager was part of a viral video that showed two St. Louis County teenagers fighting near Hazelwood East High School. Today, we've learned that case is resolved. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. 15-year-old Mornice DeClue recently admitted in court to assaulting her classmate, Kaylee Gain. Today, DeClue's attorney shared the details about his client's case. And our Justina Cornell joins us live in the newsroom after speaking with him. Justina. Well, this all started in March, and the case was resolved almost a month ago. Now, we're just learning about this because DeClue's attorney says he wanted to give his client some time to settle in at home after that viral video changed the lives of two teens. We had a couple status hearings in June, and in one of those status hearings, uh, my client ended up admitting to one of the allegations in the petition. Attorney Greg Smith says his client, 15-year-old Marnice DeClue, is now home. This is after a viral video of two Hazelwood East students garnered national attention. It showed a fight between DeClue and her classmate, 16-year-old Kaylee Gain. DeClue was charged with first-degree assault, but through negotiations, the courts bumped it down to second-degree assault. I think she understood the situation. She understood and accepted responsibility for her own conduct. Um, but for any child to sit in a courtroom and admit something in that serious of a situation, uh, it was difficult, but at the end of the day, I think she knew that's what she wanted to do. The difference between first and second degree assault is intent. Under the situation she found herself, she was acting in what we refer to as under the influence of sudden passion. Now DeClue is under court supervision. She has certain conditions that she has to meet counseling. She has a, a youth mentor. Um, she has community service that she has to complete. Kaylee Gaines spent a month in the hospital, followed by two weeks in a rehabilitation center. She's still undergoing physical and mental health therapy. Smith tells Five on Your Side his client is eager to get back to school. She has a fantastic support uh, system around her, her mom and dad, her family. Are, they've been rock solid throughout all of this, so they're helping her get through this. He believes the clue could be under supervision for another six months to a year. Now, I reached out multiple times, times to Gaines' attorney for an interview or comment. As of right now, we still haven't heard back.